What's up guys, it's Dallas from Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you how to update Android on a rooted Nexus device without losing all of your data. This is geared towards the Nexus 5, but it should work with pretty much any Nexus, just about the same. Now I've got all this covered with a full tutorial if you'd prefer doing this at your own pace. Plus it's a little more in depth and has all the download links that you'll need. So check that out by heading to the link in the description below this video. But first up, we'll need to do a little setup on the phone end of things. Just head into settings, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap about phone. While we're in here, note that I'm currently running 4.4.2. I plan to update this to 4.4.3 by the end of the video. Anyway, in here, scroll down to the bottom again and hit build number seven times in a row. You can see that I've already done this on my phone, but if you're doing this for the first time, you'll get a toast message that says, you are now a developer. So once that's out of the way, just back out one level and you'll see a new entry for developer options. Head in here, then tick the box next to USB debugging and press OK. At this point, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC with a good quality USB cable. Now the rest of this video will be done through the PC, so let's head over there to check out the setup. First up, you'll need to go to the official Google page that has all of the stock images. You can get there by searching Nexus Factory Images, and it should be the top results on Google. Again though, I have it linked out in that article if you'd rather do it that way. Then, since I'm doing this on a Nexus 5, I'll click Factory Images Hammerhead for Nexus 5. Alright, so right up here under Nexus 5, you can see all the available factory images. This is the exact software that ships with your phone or comes as an update over the air. The one that prompted this video that just came out yesterday is 4.4.3. You can obviously download it from the link right here, but first I'd advise you to grab this MD5 number. Just highlight it and copy it and save that for later. Basically, just don't go copying other things until you're done with that number. Okay, so with that done, we'll go ahead and click the download link to get that going. And next up is the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wugfresh. This thing will walk you through everything, so it's one of the easiest tools out there. Again, the link for this is available in the article. So just scroll down this page and click download. And I'll skip forward to when those are done. Alright, so now that everything is downloaded, start by double clicking the Nexus Root Toolkit installer file. Then just hit run on this next window and install on the one after that. It'll download some files. And when it's finished, it wants to know what device and software you have. Again, I'm doing this for the Nexus 5, so I'll select that. And if you want to know what Android build you're running, refer back to that build number entry in settings that you tap 7 times. Next is going to tell you to enable USB debugging on your phone. That's what we did back at the beginning, but now there should be a pop-up on your phone asking you to allow this computer to connect to your phone. So check your phone for that at this point, and tick the box next to Always Allow then press OK. Also press OK on the computer to exit this message. In this next part, the Nexus Root Toolkit will ask you to download several files. Just tell it OK when asked, letting it download all of the files that it needs. Now with that out of the way, the first thing you should hit up once you get to the actual Nexus Root Toolkit is this button up top, Full Driver Installation. In here just skip to step 3 and see what it says for recommended solution. Mine says number one, so I'll click the corresponding button down here. Then just go through setup on this next screen to get all of your ADB and device drivers installed. Okay, so this next part is very important if you want to save all the data on your phone. Head into options up top and hit, well, options. Skip over to the flash stock tab and tick the box next to enable no wipe mode. Then press OK on the subsequent pop-up. Now you're ready to install the update. Head over here and click Flash Stock plus Unroot. Pay no mind to the Unroot part of that because we'll take care of that stuff later. Click OK on this first window, then on the second window you'll probably need to make some changes. Tick the box next to Other slash Browse right up top, then make sure the second checkbox is set to I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead. When you press OK, you'll be shown a file browser window. Just navigate to your downloads folder to find the factory image file that you downloaded earlier. Next a window will pop up asking you to enter the MD5 number for the file that you downloaded. This is what we copied earlier, so just right click and hit paste here. When that's all squared away, you'll get a message telling you what the toolkit is about to do, which is flash the update. 
But like it says, your data will remain intact, and the only thing it's changing is your system partition. This next part will probably take a good five minutes, but I've sped up the video here. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation box with some more details. I'll hit OK and move on. Alright, since the update overwrote your system partition with the new version of Android, your root stuff is now gone. But that's no big deal, like I said, because there's a button to fix that right here. You can also reinstall your custom recovery here if you just tick this little box right below it. So when you're ready, just hit root and then OK. Again, this will take a few minutes in reality, but I've sped it up. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation dialog again. So now you know you're up to date and you're rooted. And if you check that one box, you also have a custom recovery installed. Not too bad, huh? So now let's head back into the real world and see the results. Under settings, about phone again, now you see that I'm running 4.4.3. Most of the changes with this version of Android were bug fixes, but the most noticeable front-facing change is to the dialer, which looks all shiny and new. But yeah, I hope this video helps you update your rooted Nexus. And again, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out that article. Oh, and if you could, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.